Hello friends and welcome to my channel where we mainly discuss thrillers on Thursdays and today's video is going to be different than what I normally film because normally I'm talking about thriller books, movies, excuse me, or TV shows but today is going to be one of the rare videos where I'm just talking about myself which feels very weird to say and do but I've seen so many of my booktube friends and also just youtubers that I don't personally know in real life but that I just like to watch film these reacting to assumptions about me videos and I've had so much fun watching them and I figured that if I am so addicted to watching these I probably should just go ahead and film one myself but if somehow you don't know what this is most youtubers are doing this in the same way on Instagram people submit assumptions about you and then you film a video reacting saying whether or not they're true and, and I think the reason that I like watching these and that I kind of wanted to film them is it's and I'm not just trying to make everything about psychology I swear but really I think it's interesting to see what people's personality is actually like compared to what people assume it's like let's get into the assumptions you all submitted on Instagram the first you are single and you prefer it that way Yes, I am single. I've been single for about two months or so, and I would say I prefer it that way for right now. My program for the job I'm in, you guys know I move every eight months, it's going to wrap up in a few months and I don't know where I'll be living at the end of it, so it's definitely much easier to be single right now, focusing on the job instead. Okay, that you are a great driver and you love driving. I do think I'm a good driver, but also 85% of people, I think I remember reading that in a survey once, most people think they're a good driver, so I don't know, it's hard to be self-aware about that. And yes, I do love driving. You're intimidating at first. Um, I really don't think so, and I think if you asked anybody who knows me in real life, who I'm friends with or that I work with every day, I think they would all say that that's not true. I think myself and most YouTubers come across a lot more intense in front of the camera than we do in real life. I'm not saying I'm the most quiet and meek person in the world by any means. Um, I think I'm just kind of like average confidence, but I'm definitely not intimidating. You might not want kids, so this is also not true. I think I probably want like two down the road, but I am in no rush. You have nightmares? So generally no, but reading this is reminding me that last night, and this actually wasn't a nightmare because I was awake for this. This happened. I was laying in my bed over there. I woke up because I wake up often throughout the night. I'm a terrible sleeper, very light sleeper because I thought I heard something and I can see my bathroom from my bed if I just open my eyes and I saw somebody standing there just on their phone like the little light from their phone and they were slowly like moving towards me a little bit like if you've seen Gerald's game when the guy in the corner slowly comes forward is a bit like that and I was laying there going I am fully awake and this is happening I'm not dreaming and then I realized that light was my electric toothbrush and it was an optical illusion but it was very scary Strong, independent woman. Also, you would totally be fun to get a drink with. I would say I'm independent. I would say all of my friends who are also in the same program that I'm in, they're also very independent. Just moving so often for work and having to pick up your life, I think, lends itself to being very independent. I, I wouldn't say that I'm that strong, though, just compared to some of my other friends. I would just say that I'm average on that scale. And, and I would also say that I like to think I'm fun to get a drink with, but I'm also probably, again, pretty average fun to get a drink with. That you're secretly very emotional, a big softy deep down. I don't think this is true. <laughs> I really only get emotional when it's really dire. I cry probably once every like four or five months. I'm not sure. I do really get upset and I think that I'm an, a relatively empathetic person, but, but at the same time it takes a lot and for something very serious um, to happen for me to get really upset. Okay, this person just said rich. <laughs> so I don't know if this is referring to me or if it's referring to my family or what specifically, but either way I would say no. My parents were both in the army growing up until I was about 16. That's what they did. And anyone else whose parents are in the military can um, attest to that you don't make tons of money. When I was about 16, when my dad went from working for the military and got a different job, he did make more money. But even then, you know, it's not like my family's millionaires by any stretch of the imagination. And I think my apartment might look a lot fancier and nicer in the background than it is in real life. Not to say it's shitty in real life, but you know, I live in a pretty 
inexpensive state. And the city I'm in is pretty inexpensive compared to other big cities. And I make what I consider a pretty like middle class salary. That you are very selective about the people in your life. I actually, I really don't know if this is true, but I will say, and I, this is something me and my friends were talking about recently. And I do think I select friends who are also like this. Myself and again, all my other friends I'm going to include on this. I think there are a lot of friends who support each other even when they do shitty things. Like if their friend were to say cheat on their boyfriend. And I know a lot of girls and friend groups would be like, don't worry about it. Like you do you. And me and my friends are just not like that at all. We will tell each other if we're doing something that's awful. Like you can still support a person and tell them that what they're doing is really horrible. So I, I don't know if I would say that I like consciously select friends that are like that but I do think me and my friends are all kind of that way like we call each other out when we're doing something that we shouldn't be doing. You seem like someone who really has her life together and is really emotionally stable. I don't know if I really have my life together. It's feeling very <laughs> up in the air right now, but I think that's because I don't know where I'm going to be living or what I'm going to be doing for work when the program ends. But I would say considering the situation that yes, <laughs> um, I'm relatively very emotionally stable. Jesus Christ! Uh, this is my friend in real life outside of booktube. She said, you like to be choked. <sighs> I'm not. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. You like having the opportunity to move to new cities. That's my friend Savannah and I would say that that is true, although right now I'm not feeling that way just because I'm feeling scared because I don't know where I'm going to be moving next. <laughs> next is my friend Emma. She said you put bread in your bag. This is very true. Just this past weekend we went out, we got pizza first for National Pizza Day and we all decided I should really put the pizza in my purse so we could eat it much later, hours later in the night and we did and it was great. You were once the not like every other girl type. Now this is the one that I'm going to be honest I've thought the most <laughs> about all of these because I really don't know if I ever was and I'm trying to think about it. I do think I know why you guys might think that because I think you might think especially when I first started on booktube and it was mainly YA. I think it's a lot more varied right now and there's a lot more variety on booktube than there was when it first started but when I first started it was mainly YA and there were just a few of us reading adult books like when was it? Seven, eight years ago on booktube obviously not outside of booktube. So I think that might make it seem like that I think I'm more unique than I am but but when I picture myself in high school and a lot of undergrad I was just incredibly insecure and I think being a not like every other girl type sort of implies you have this like false confidence like oh I'm not like everybody else I'm so unique and I've never had that I've either been like incredibly low self-esteem low self-confidence throughout all of high school and a lot of undergrad and then in the past I would say what's that five years since undergrad I would say that my confidence has increased but I still don't think that I'm like that unique so again, I could see that because of booktube you might think that I was like that and I don't take offense to it at all because again I could see why you would think that but, but I don't think so. <laughs> but maybe I just lack self-awareness. Your best friends are from college undergrad. True, probably undergrad and grad school. People think that you might be a serial killer. Mine do. Does that mean people think you're a serial killer? Um, I have no idea. If it came out in the news that I was, would that be shocking? You guys tell me. You are highly motivated on a regular day-to-day -day basis, work and private life. You guys really think that I have my life super put together. I'm really motivated with some things. Um, I'm super motivated to keep my apartment like obsessively clean. <laughs> I am motivated with work, um, but there are certain things like I am a procrastinator when it comes to some aspects of work. There are some parts of work that when you know when I go in for my like eight to five job that I could definitely work harder at. Um, and I'm not just saying that to like be relatable. It's true there are definitely certain aspects I need to push myself harder in. Anyway, I'm going out off on a huge tangent. I do think I'm motivated in some areas but not others. You like Star Trek over Star Wars. This is very true. Both my parents are massive Trekkies. They have a Star Trek Christmas tree. Although I do love some Raylo fan fiction. That you have a broad perspective of America due to moving so much. I would say that's true. The only era I'm not that familiar with is like New Mexico, Arizona, Utah, that whole area I know zero about but a lot of the other parts of the US I am pretty familiar with. You're smart. I think I'm very average intelligence and again you guys have sent in a lot of compliments and I'm not 
saying that they're not true to be relatable or to be humble I'm really just answering how I think like I did well in school but I always had to study hard I wasn't I'm not one of those people who just got straight A's and didn't have to study and I do also want to say I am much better at taking compliments in real life than I'm seeming right now but this isn't the say thank you to compliments video this is the say whether or not assumptions are true video you love pizza and beer very true you have a positive practical attitude when romantic relationships ends you don't pine over something lost. I would say that this is true, but at the same time, I haven't been in enough relationships to know whether or not that's true. Um, like the last one ended fine and I got over it pretty fast, but at the same time, I haven't like been super, 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 super head over heels in love before, so. I don't know if I can answer that. You're an open-minded person. I hope so. You prefer to have a few close friends instead of many acquaintances. I actually would say that I like to have a good amount of both. You can eat a whole large pizza on your own. I did that so much in high school and undergrad. I would say I still can, but I really, really try hard not to. Although once every now and then, like once every four months, I go eat a whole Red Baron. I assume you like to people watch in public a great deal. Very true. You have a natural inclination towards leadership and don't let others diminish you. <laughs> you guys think so much of me. You know when, and you guys probably have had to do this in school or at work when they do those challenges, like get in teams of five and try and build like a tower out of straws and people are really walking around watching you, trying to see who's gonna take, go into that leadership role and be like, guys, this is what we need to do. That is definitely not me. I think I've had leadership roles in the past and I have really enjoyed it, but it's only when it's something I'm passionate about. Like in grad school, my job was being like an assistant manager on a research team and I was passionate about the topic, so I loved being like the assistant leader on the team. But I'm not one of those people who like in every situation, I'm like, I need to be the leader um, and it like just shines through. So some of these are sort of similar, so I'm going to skip them. That there was a time in your life when you're really into the Myers-Briggs and would ask other people if they knew their type. That's really true, and, and I like that you use past tense because it's definitely true that I'm not that way anymore just because it's not a super valid, reliable method of measuring a personality. The big five's a much better one, so you're right. I assume I'll enjoy books you recommend because our tastes seem similar. Thank you. You're a Democrat, true. Your GPA is good. Um, it was good in undergrad and grad school, but again, like I was saying before, I had to study really hard. I'm not one of those people who just like got a 4.0 and never had to like crack open a book. And what a fitting one to end on considering this is a booktube channel. I assume you have good taste in books. I'll leave that up to you guys to decide. But I'm so done talking about myself, but it was really interesting to hear what you guys assumed about about me because again you guys know me through the screen some of you know me and some of you guys that sent messages have met me in real life actually a good chunk but it was still really interesting to see how you guys perceive me through this might be different than how I am outside of the camera so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're a booktuber or a youtuber I know this isn't a tag but if you're watching it I'm tagging you to do this because I want everybody that I'm subscribed to to do this I saw thoughts on tomes do this some other booktubers and it is just so much fun. So again, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you all next Thursday. Bye.